what's up guys uh, welcome to today's video so as you can see on this chart here this is last week where we drop key levels where we are going to be you know identifying how the market react to it last week you see this chart here don't be confused we map out these key levels what happened is that we normally do weekend analysis if you are new so that we'll be able to identify the key level we are going to be heading for the week so if you look at this chart here you see that these are key levels so i'm going to be you know breaking it down to show you how does the market react to it how do we follow it throughout last week did you wait you know in most cases you must have to wait till your setup form all right so pay attention because i'm going to walk you through to show you how the market move and the uh, you know if especially when you are doing technical analysis so it's good that you pay attention so that you understand how you can be able to do it on your own all right so we are going to be starting with what GBP USD, as you can see on the chart. See, don't be blind, maybe don't be confused on this, what you see here. The reason I don't want to clean it is so that you understand, I drew these things last week. Are you getting it? So now we have to take a look at how does the market react to those levels. So you understand that I don't clean my, my key levels. These are zones. Why these are more like the, the, the levels where black line or horizontal lines where the market rejects. You understand which is key or uh, might not support them in the midst of a zone you understand you know market moves zone to zone so if we come to daily time frame here if if you don't know how we come about these key levels then check out the last video so that you can be able to follow up so we see here anyway let me just come back to weekly time frame and show you something see what's happened here markets have moved from this this zone down to this zone then come back to this zone so right now the market pull back around here start heading all the way up right now we are this region all right so what next from here so that is what we are going to be talking about in this video if you come down to daily time frame you'll be able to identify that last week i mark out this zone market was around this region so i told you guys that this place is a key level we need to pay attention to any market rejects here market rejects here even when market bounce right if you understand if this place is a key zone so I told you guys that this region, we have to pay very close attention. As you can see, market push up a bit above it. Do like if it break out, then come back, reject below. If the next candle that formed, this is on what on daily time frame. Let me just zoom in so that you can be able to see it. You see here, see what's happened. This engulfing candle have shown that this market break this zone. Are you getting it that we are we're expecting it to reject? So that's what was what happened within the week. So right now here, there is high probability for this market to move all the way up, or at least the next level target that we are expecting this market to reach is this zone, okay? This is the, another zone that this market can possibly reach, except maybe by market, when market open and you see a strong rejection, maybe in four hours, if per adventure, if you come to four hours, for instance, this market is coming to give you maybe a double top here. If you form a double top, then we see a strong, bearish engulfing candle then it might just hold we whereby the this place is still valid but for now this place is a key level where as you can see from what you drew last time that the market is above this line you see this green zone the market and this is engulfing candle so you have to pay very close attention to this level i'm still going to show you how you are because not just because you see market break above where you go and jump in i'm going to show you how you're going to approach it Okay, if see 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 the scenario we are going to follow it now. So you can either come to when you come to four hours time frame, pay very very close attention. See it, see what you are going to do. You are not going to touch this market except one. If this market, let's let's say we connect trend line, for instance. Okay. I don't really like the nature of this trend line. So see, see how you're going to flow it. You can either wait for this market to break. If I use this box here, did you see what I just do here? So if this market come down, if this market really want to go down, wait for it to break below here. If this market break below here, Come back and break below here then you can be looking for selling opportunity let's say it break down allow it don't trade the breakout wait for it to pull back to this zone as it pull back to this zone 
form, you know, a kind of, uh, you know, our entry setup, you know, our entry setup, then once that pattern comes here, then you shut the market. Why this black line becomes your first kind of take profit because I drew it from a higher time frame. So you may not be seeing it, but this zone here can actually flow back. Or if there are another way you can approach it, this is what GBP USD. If this market break, you can open your chart and draw something like this. If this market break above here, that is when you start looking for another opportunity for you to go all the way up. Are you getting it for buying opportunity? Probably here becomes your first target, but are you getting me? So that is, this is the two scenario you're going to be following it. Make sure you wait. It's not just market, just play. If you are trading a breakout strategy, then you can be able to do that. Then if you're not, I will say you have to wait, break and retest. Me, I prefer break and retest before I look for opportunity. Are you getting it? As simple as that. That is it for this particular one. Make it simple. Then heading further. So if we head further, let's go to Euro AUD. Euro USD, Euro USD, guys. So if you come to Euro USD, we can also come to higher time frame. The same thing, we draw some key levels on this particular one. But what happened in Euro USD is that I was thinking that this market might probably get yeah, rich here, just somehow very close before the market actually starts rejecting from this zone. You see it? So these are key levels. I don't want to start going to higher time frame. We already did a video on that. So we want to see what, how the market plays out, see what is happening currently on Euro USD. You see this pattern this is more like who knows maybe you kind of head and shoulder if you reject from here then it's forming some kind of head and shoulder where here becomes the neckline if you break below here then it's heading all the way down to this place okay so so what you need to do that if you are detected of trade higher time you can always wait for this market to break here but you know traders want to trade you know that kind of thing so one of the things you can do is that if you come to smaller time frame which is daily time frame now then you can be able to see that currently the market reject of this zone are you getting it so so in this kind of scenario i would say there is probability for it to maybe push all the way up to come back and touch here again something like that so you have to pay very very close attention to be on the safer side how about if you kind of wait maybe we are not seeing a clear okay this is not a good one but if you come to four hours, you'll be able to see, if you can see a pattern to be able to consider. You know, in four hours, we are seeing something like this. Okay, if you look at here, you see in four hours, you see, you see market break below here, then starts moving around here. So one of the things I will say is this, I want you to do something. I want you to wait. <laughs> I want you to wait. Let this market come back below this zone. You see, you see, this market have been rejecting around this zone. If you come here, you reject. You see, even this place, a place you want to reject. So this region is actually giving it a headache. See, let me zoom it in so that you see it very well. See the way the market is rejecting around here. Let this market come and break below here. If you break down, then pull back, break and retest. Do you understand the concept? break and retest then if you break down then pull back or you might just start from here and fly all the way up just like i show you are you getting it so so when it's time to wait you have to wait all right so if you look here it might just fly all the way up coming to test this black line again this red line which is trend line so it might just come back here if not i will say because watch here if i extend this thing all the way up to this zone you see that here is a very key level. That's thing I was telling you to wait for it to break below it. So this is the reason why this, this place is rejecting. You see, even here, are you getting it? So wait for it to come and break below this zone. That is the only time you start looking for. Maybe it break, then retest. It's going to show you a kind of, uh, maybe a bearish uh, kind of uh, flag. You understand? Bearish flag, something like that. Then you can be able to shut the breakout of counter trend line then you'll be able to carry it all the way down maybe probably take your first take profit should be around this region because market reject around here 
are you getting me so if, if i'm to show you that maybe i just pick a line here and show you here if this market let's say break let me let me zoom in if this market break below here then pull back to this zone want to go down give you kind of bearish uh, a flag then as you break out of that bearish flag be able to short it and take your profit around here maybe first take profit before you start considering all the way here all right and the second thought you might also start from here and start heading up which in my own case i will tell you maybe you should just, just avoid it leave it and see how it plays out but if you break below here give you a pattern then you can be able to short it all the way down here i hope this is just as simple as possible because i want to make it very very simple all right so so that anybody can always understand my videos okay so so moving further guys i want to head over to what to aud usd aud usd what am i expecting on aud usd very simple one see what's happened in aud usd you see this is a trend line a major trend line from the up here so here is a critical level right now the market reach here and reverse but all of a sudden within the week i don't even know what i just i was surprised to be frank with you because i thought this particular rejection is going to take this market you know down so let me delete this because first touch is second touch this is third touch the market have already touched it for the first time you see this one this man first touch it then start rejecting everybody was expecting it to come down all of a sudden you see this condo this candle came and engulfed one two three i am telling you honestly this market engulfed this whole this thing so what next for this i want you to pay very close attention because you can see market might open and the next thing the next candle will turn bearish and just reverse all the way down and start heading down or the market might break out of it but in whichever way you have to pay very close attention the only way for us to approach this is you have to wait if this market forms come back and come back all the way down again that is the only time we start looking for setup but or if this market break let's say it break retest want to start heading up then we can be able to know well the market have changed direction but as for now we are still bearish on this particular pair okay so if we come to four hours time frames to be able to see you know bigger picture you see who knows it might just be that this market is coming to give us a kind of double top or whatever around this region but in whichever case the best way to approach it is see the same way i show you guys on the other one but but this one you can use trend line if this market break this trend line, i can i can stay you for with a high conviction that this market is going to start heading down if it can break this zone all right if it comes out and break this one but if uh, let's say you see a strong bullish candle up then start heading on then it's a different scenario altogether all right so for now this is how you're going to wait wait for the market to break below here before you start looking for setup see you have to trade high probability trade all right wait for the market to come below here then you start entering or you wait for the market to break above this zone stock very break above then pull back want to start getting going of which is bullish flag then you enter and ride it all the way up are you getting me so that's what i have for you guys on this particular uh, currency analysis technical analysis today i hope you find value in this if you do i will really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up like the video and share it to other people you know in your cycle so that they can be able to watch the video and don't forget to subscribe that's it for today